Hey guys, Fugus101 here, and uh, finally, I know this video is kind of overdue, again I haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks, but anyway, uh, I finished my, of course, Wizard of Oz horror drawings, so this is what this video is going to be about. Um, also, I'm going to make a video doing a review of, and this, this is what this is, this is the original Wizard of Oz book. So yeah, this is just the book. It's got like all this stuff in it. Like there's Tin Man. Uh, yeah, but anyway. Maybe I'll make a review of this Wizard of Oz book. But anyway, we will get started on the drawings. So first up is... The Wicked Witch of the West. Uh, this is actually the last picture that I drew of this line. So, um, here is her face, first of all. And, as you can see, the side is just completely melted away. And, as you know, in the movie, the Wicked Witch, her one weakness is water. So, maybe in the past... She got some water on her face, and it just melted her face away. And the hair on the side, there's like only little fragments of hair left. I like the way her hat looks. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, also, her arm is completely melted, because maybe she put her arm up to defend her face, and it got on her arm, too. But um, the good side of her face is just like a normal woman's face. Like, she has some warts and stuff. She's got, like, wrinkles. I like the way her eye looks. Like, it just looks good. And uh, she's got her broom. And she's got, like, a, this ripped up cloak on with, like, this cape, like, flowing. And her fingers are really messed up, as you can see in her hand. Some of her fingers have been, like, cut off. And her arm has just, like, more warts on it and stuff. But yeah, Wicked Witch of the West, there's some like flying monkeys in the background. You can kind of see her feet down there underneath her like ripped up cloak. But anyway, there is the first drawing, the Wicked Witch of the West. Now, I showed this drawing in another video, but this is of course the Scarecrow. Just to show you it again. Of course, he's got the, uh, the sickle and the brain. I haven't redrew those yet. But, um... I did redraw something, which I'll get on to, just get another look at him. I redrew his face. I didn't like, I don't like the way this face looks, and I didn't want to erase it and mess up the whole picture, so I just kept it like this, but I redrew his face, and this is the new face, and I think it looks awesome. Um, I really like this shape. Of the bur I think it looks a lot more like a burlap sack than this. The rips on the bottom of this one look really unrealistic, whereas this one is looks a lot better. Uh, I like all the stitching in the face and how it looks like a smile and like it's just the eyes and everything. And I think the hat looks really nice too. Uh, it's just on a little piece of paper. It says Scarecrow up there. But I drew this in painting class. Because um, on the back of this, there's some uh, pastel. But uh, I didn't like the, the painting I was doing. So I turned it over and just started doodling. And it turned into this. And I really liked it. So I just cut it into this little square. So just kind of imagine this on this Scarecrow. I really like this Scarecrow, though. I think he looks awesome. Again, he's got the arm that tore away, and the crow's like eating his his insides pretty much. All the hay coming out. There's another crow up there. Yeah, finally had a brain. So there is Scarecrow once again, and now probably my favorite one is the Tin Man. Now this, he isn't com he isn't entirely made of tin. Basically, the backstory for this guy is 
he was a homeless he was a homeless guy in Oz and he uh he was homeless but he kept himself in really good shape as you can see he's like jacked I wanted to make him like really big and beefy but anyway he was a homeless guy and um, some scientists in Oz uh, wanted to experiment to find out if a human being could power without their heart so as you can see right here there is a some stitches where they took his heart out first of all if you look at the face he has two sides of this this helmet and it's actually melted to his face like they heated it up and they just stuck it to his face as you can see it's all like some blood dripping out down here it's all like irritated from the burns and I like the way it looks like it's not one smooth piece of metal it's like pieces all screwed together I like his eyes they just look blank and unemotional and of course he has the iconic fuddle I had to add that anyway this thing hooked up to his brain is what's powering him and as you can see there's these wires leading to this thing wrapped around his arm which he can like dial in and then it goes behind him into this basically his right hand has been removed and replaced with this box and it says tin man on it and it's hooked up to this and this is basically it's like a it's like almost like a car battery but not it has a lot more stuff in it and that's basically what's powering him because it is uh he doesn't really need blood to be flowing it's just forcing his brain to power his body and it doesn't need um, blood but basically he has on these all ripped up clothes because he's homeless he has a rip around there I like the way the pants look and he's his uh, forearms also have been like melt uh, metal has been melted on and of course he has his axe with a nice bit of blood on it tin man uh, in the actual book he was called the Tin Woodman, but I don't really care which name, I just put Tin Man. And uh, in the actual MGM movie, the Tin Man costume, he had like this, he had on like a collar, so I kind of incorporated that into the jacket. If you look at pictures of the Tin Man costume, he had a big collar around his, his neck, so I added that. There's Tin Man. And now my last Wizard of Oz drawing. And you probably weren't expecting this. It is the apple tree. If you remember the scene with the scarecrow and Dorothy, when uh, scarecrow was like, "I'll show you how to get apples" or whatever, and uh, he kind of just ma he made the apple trees give them apples by saying like, um, "The tree was like, is there something wrong with my apples?" And scarecrow was like, "Oh no, she just doesn't like little green worms." And then he started throwing the apples at scarecrow and Dorothy. And of course, that's how they found the Tin Man. One of the apples rolled over to Tin Man. But anyway, this is the apple tree. And uh, it has no leaves or anything. So it's kind of like a winter type apple tree. It's got apples that are like shriveled up on the branches. Like up there and over here. And he's holding one in his hand about to throw it. And uh, there's his face. He has an actual human eye that he he took from someone and like put it on his head he's got a big hole like if you see those trees with the holes I've made that his mouth and he has little twigs for teeth all around he's got a pointy nose this eye isn't really like working up here there's like bark that's been that just fell off the tree um just a, I really like the way it looks right here is the tin man's axe that the tree was attacking them and the tin man tried to I guess fight fight off the tree by hitting it with the axe and uh but it broke right there and this is actually sap from the tree to look like blood there's just the roots and right here um 
it says the apple tree. He he was he had one arm, the tree. So this arm was just like I guess cut off maybe by a lumberjack. So the tree found found this arm. And I know it's the size isn't like the right because this is like the whole arm and this is like the forearm, but that doesn't really matter. So basically, if 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 this was my movie of the Wizard of Oz, the Scarecrow would be walking around with one arm. But the tree found, and the trees can walk. They're not like planted in the ground. They walk with their with their roots like spiders. But he found the scarecrow's arm, and he basically just stitched it to his to his stump. And it's like a lifeless arm. It's just hanging there, so he can't move it. But it makes him feel complete. And the the trees didn't really have a big role in the in the movie, but I wanted to make the tree because I thought I could make it look really cool, and I think it looks awesome. And, like, I didn't want to draw the lion because there's not really any other way to draw the lion. Like, when 18 Wait Clover drew the lion, kind of like a werewolf type character, and I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to copy him. And I, did, I couldn't really think of any other way to draw the lion than how he did it to make him scary. And, um, I was going to draw a flying monkey. Uh, I'm still going to draw more Wizard of Oz drawings. This is just my first wave of drawings. Um, so this is the first four. But anyway, yeah, this is the apple tree. And Scarecrow's arm. And, um, yeah. There's a full view of it. So he is, he's ready to chuck the apple at someone. I think the axe looks really cool in him. So yes, um, that is all of my Wizard of Oz drawings. Thanks for watching, and just, uh, this has nothing to do with Wizard of Oz, but this is an update for just a concept that I did. This is what I think, uh, Robin, if Robin appears in The Dark Knight Rises, this has nothing to do with Wizard of Oz, but... Um, if Robin appears in The Dark Knight Rises, uh, this is what I think his costume could look like. I just drew this one night. I was really bored. He, he looks like a cartoon Robin. Like the face. I like the face. It looks cool. But I think this is what the costume should look like. It really resembles Batman with like the, the armor and everything. It's not really done yet. But it's just Robin the Boy Wonder up there. Uh, I like the Robin symbol on him. And uh, this is just, just a quick view of what Robin could look like if he appears in The Dark Knight Rises, which I, I don't think he will, but if he does, if he makes a little cameo, that'd be kind of kind of amazing. But yeah, thank you for watching my Wizard of Oz drawing video. I will be making a video of the Wizard of Oz book. And, oh, I, I can actually show you what I was talking about here. If you look, this is another book I had at the Wizard of Oz. I was obsessed with the Wizard of Oz when I was like three or four. But if you can see right here, the Tin Man, he has that big collar around him. And that's what I was going for with this. You see, it's like that, and then there's that. <laughs> look at Scarecrow's face. <laughs> and Lion. They all look stupid on the cover. But this book just shows, like, pictures from the movie. Like, here's Scarecrow and Tin Man looking. They all look creepy in these pictures. So I'll make a video of both of these books. Or maybe I'll have, like, a Wizard of Oz special or something. But anyway, this video is going on too long. This was just for drawings. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Fugus101 signing out. And another update. God. Um... The YouTube channel design, um, I made a background for it and I think it looks pretty cool. So check that out. Like, I couldn't really figure out how to make, like, a good background because, like, you know, the new YouTube layout, like, covers most of your background. But I made a new one and I think it looks kind of cool. And, um, the video I used to make it, uh, the tutorial that a, uh, a kid made a video, I will put it in the, um, in the description so you can check that out to maybe make your own 
um, channel design, uh, 118 Red Clover, I'm talking to you, so, yeah, thanks for watching, oh my god, 15 minutes, thanks for watching, this is Hugus101 signing out, um, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, Blah.